first question is for Dr. Hellman. I am a mom of a 34 year old man with HD. I am his full-time caregiver. Recently, I have noticed that he has had a physical response when I bathe him. How can I stop this from happening? I cannot afford to bring in a caregiver to help. This is a very difficult um, situation. And I wanna talk a little bit about what's going on, first of all. So just, you probably, it sounds for, like you understand this from the question, but this response has nothing to do with you being there. This is not a response to you. This is a part of the body that is, at the very basic, most primitive level, is just hardwired to respond to physical touch. Then there are higher levels of the nervous system that basically can override that, which is what happens in daily life and to avoid this happening in, in these sorts of situations. What happens in HD, as with some other neurologic disorders as well, is those higher centers don't function as well. So they're not able to override just that reflex response. So that's really all that's happening. That doesn't make it any less uncomfortable for you. I completely understand that. But because it's that hardwired response, it's not something that is necessarily within his voluntary control. I completely understand not being able to um, afford to bring in a professional caregiver, but there might be some other options to just remove you from that situation. So sometimes there are more affordable caregivers who might be able to come in. For example, there might be like a nursing school in your area, sometimes nursing students students or other sort of healthcare professional, allied health um, students, physical therapists, those sorts of things might be looking for a little bit of part-time work here or there, and they might be more affordable than a professional caregiver to come in and serve as a bath aid. Also, your son might qualify for home health, and you can get home health bath aids to come in a couple times a week as well. So just removing you so that you don't have to be the person who is there in that situation is a good kind of first step in managing this. Also, there are some medications that can have, as usually an unwanted side effect, can dampen these reflexes. Those medications may or may not be appropriate for your son, but it would be worth uh, talking to um, his doctors about whether or not those might be an appropriate option. I think it might be also good if you are his only full-time caregiver, you're going to need a little respite too. So I think it would be worth looking into some of these other options that might be more affordable. It might be helpful to have a conversation with your son, just explaining to normalize this, the, you know, when it, if it occurs to say, I know you can't help this, and I know you're not trying to say something to me about this. I realize that this is just a reflex, and please don't be embarrassed, and try to reassure your son that you are not judging or that you're not, you're trying to make him not feel uncomfortable, and that might help the situation not be so uncomfortable for you. But I totally agree with Dr. Hellman about any little piece of help that you can get and any little task you can pass off, even early in the game, pays dividends all the way down the line. But I'd also recommend having a conversation just to reassure yourself and him that, it, that just the way that it is and it doesn't mean anything. 